All right guys, so today is maintenance day. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video is actually gonna be a little bit different. What are we gonna do pretty much? Just basically a typical day for the Goon Squad boys over here, man. Uh, we're basically gonna show you guys exactly what it's like owning a bunch of cars and what it takes to actually maintain them, you know? It sounds like all fun and games, but at the end of the day, like behind it's the scenes- It's a lot of work. Dude, a bunch of like uh, random- Random lights. Random, random lights? <laughs> just random anything on cars. Right now we have what, like three cars do for service yes, a sir. supercharger do for service and a bunch of other things that we still got to catch up on that a lot of this stuff doesn't make it on video because we're just so busy with putting out content for you guys as much as possible and we just want to show you guys what it takes man it's not easy yeah so right now one of the most important things is to eat good and we're gonna go get something to eat actually and then we're gonna get back to the house and we're gonna show you guys What's going on? What we're gonna start with? We'll probably start with the cop car. We gotta service the Lambo. I don't know. Yeah, Lambo, cop car, Hellcat. The cop car needs oil and supercharger changed. Uh, supercharger oil changed. Right. And we got the Sentra that if you guys uh, noticed the, we bought. The we clean got, title Sentra. Yeah, we gotta paint that thing up and put it together, which uh, probably do the first thing. Yeah, actually know? that's probably what we'll start with first because we gotta paint a front bumper and uh, put it all completely back together and then we'll move on probably to the cop car or the Lambo. I've never done a Lambo oil change never this is gonna be a first for us and it's past due we haven't drove the Lambo if you haven't noticed we haven't been posting driving the Lambo on our social media because the oil needs to be changed and we've yeah. never done it before but we're gonna do it today alrighty guys so we got our chick-fil-a and that's gonna make our day right definitely 100% man this is what fuels us every day basically right and this <laughs> is what we eat every day on a daily basis pretty much it's quick easy and gets you right back to well, work we, we try to we try to cook for ourselves as much as possible like we said before, this is this is just for the times whenever we're super busy. You know what I mean? Exactly. So let's go ahead and actually head back home and probably just get started on something, man. And we tossed a lot of stuff. I'll just let you know that right now. But we got this center pulled in here. What needs to be done? Or actually, let's talk about what happened to it. V-Tune actually took care of the framework, right? Yeah, V-Tune take care of it real quick for us uh, and got it done pretty pretty fast, dude, honestly. That man is a genius, so, man. He's a genius, dude. But he got it done for us. It's 100% aligned. All body panels are perfect. It looks really good. Right now, uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and start, uh, what do you say, paint the bumper first. Yeah, that's, that's one of the main things we need to do. All this other stuff should be in here real soon. And we can actually, well, we're trying to put this thing together today, right? Yeah, so once we get this bumper painted, uh, set it all up, paint it outside probably, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and start putting in the radiators, the AC condensers, and we do have to change one lower control arm, and uh, I think we can do all that today, so let's go ahead and just get started. And just like that, this bumper is completely painted and it turned out absolutely amazing for an outside paint job. So we're gonna let this thing dry right now and we're gonna jump back on the car and install that cooling system. And also we got some suspension we need to replace at the bottom as well. Alrighty guys, so we just finished up on the Nissan Sentra, got the suspension changed out, got the cooling system on, got the antifreeze, and it is out of here, but it is super late on us, so we'll catch you guys tomorrow bright and early in the morning. 
All right, so it is the next day here, and check out the front end of that sensor. We got the front bumper and grill popped on, and the paint job actually turned out pretty dang good for an outside paint job. So we are done with that sensor, a clean title sensor from around 6K. You can't really beat that. We're actually gonna move on to the next thing, which is the Hellcat. It does need an oil change, and even though it's raining, we probably will give it a wash as well, because it is super filthy. But before we pull it in, because it is raining outside, we're gonna do the oil change in the garage. We do need to do a cleanup, because we like to clean our environment before we get started. So let's go ahead and get some cleanup done, and then we're gonna pull in that Hellcat. So we got everything nice and clean. All the cardboard boxes out of here. Now we can pull that sucker in, right? Let's pull it in, give them a little cold start. And then uh, I'm guessing we're gonna go ahead and put it up on the quick jack to drain the oil. And while it's draining, we actually need to go grab some oil. So let's go ahead and uh, fire that right, sucker let's go, up. Let's go ahead and fire let's it up. Let's go ahead, man. This weather kind of sucks, but what are you gonna do about it? You know what I mean? You can't you, do nothing about it. Still you gotta work, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, oh yeah, you gotta keep pushing. But let's go ahead and fire this sucker up. You guys haven't heard it in a while. And it honestly hasn't been started in a while either. It is. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, dude. Watch out for the police, man. Man, I didn't get to see it. You gotta hit a police car, dude. It's all right. I'll run away in this Hellcat. Hey, that thing's supercharged, too. Hey, I beat it. Be careful now. Dang, this thing is filthy, and the brakes are squeaking, but I think that's a normal thing on these Hellcats. Yeah, they the do kind of squeak. The brakes are squeaky, dude. Dang, dude, this oil change light came on a couple times, hasn't it? Yeah, it came on a couple times. I guess it comes on a lot faster on these Dodge vehicles, man. I don't know why, because that uh, the police car actually oil light came on pretty quick, too. So, I mean, I, I guess this one is supercharged. You know, you really got to make sure you change right. that oil yeah, quite often. You got to maintenance this thing in this thing. has some kind of uh, very, like, I don't I, I got to say pretty expensive oil for these Hellcats. Does it? Yeah, and it actually eats oil a little bit. These Hellcats actually eat a little bit. So, you got to have, like, your eye on this thing. So, just in case it goes low on oil you don't i mean the oil lights it should yeah. come on but other than that uh we already changed it like recently we just be driving this thing a lot Maybe because dude. this is our daily driver right here daily driver smooth fast powerful all that in between no problems at all don't have no lights other than that uh key fob battery low so we're gonna have to buy a key fob battery because as you can tell it won't remote start you won't know? remote start nothing so we're gonna have to go ahead and pick up a battery pick up some oil but anyways let's go ahead and throw these quick jacks under here and actually lift this car up Now the trick here is to push up against it, you know, even when you fully got it unscrewed. Let's see if I can get this right. Woo! Perfect. Look how black it is. Yeah, that's some dirty oil and I think it was pretty low. So I'm glad we caught this just in time, which is part of this process. It's pretty tough actually maintaining all these cars. I'm not going to yeah, lie. It's probably one of the, the toughest behind the scene things. Behind the scenes because things. Maintaining all the cars, going through all the fluids and all that stuff. It ain't easy, Yeah, because nobody wants to see this stuff like, you know, oil every day. changes on all the cars. Every day, yeah. but we just, just decided to do it one time a video for you guys show you guys what it takes but yeah let's go ahead let this drain and then we're gonna go pick up our new oil and some other few, and other few things all right so right now first stop is to get some kerosene in our kerosene heater we're gonna go ahead and fill this 10 gallon tank up and then we got some five gallons right here yeah so for 15 gallons total i think it's gonna be like 67 bucks but dang that this is... stuff is pricey but you need it it's getting kind of cold and we got to keep moving yep so we're gonna go ahead fill these tanks up then we're gonna go ahead and get some oil all right so here at the auto zone we already know what kind of oil we need we know how much we need we're gonna get some for the hellcat and the 
cop car, right? Yeah, the cop car and Hellcat, so we can go ahead and change the oil on both and, of them. And also, I'm gonna grab a battery for this kitty key right here. Yep, we and need zero W forty for the Hellcat. That's right. European then, car formula. What else right do we need to grab? Do we need to grab anything else? I'm trying to think of. Hmm. No, I remember. Just, just two oils for two different cars, yeah. and that's it. And oil filters. So let's go ahead and grab everything, and then we're gonna catch you right back at the house. Let's do it. The sound system in this thing is freaking crazy, but we got the oil changed. It is 100%. We got it reset and everything. Now we're going to pull it outside, give it a quick wash, and then we're going to pull in the pursuit vehicle. Alrighty, guys, this is the wheel cleaner that we're going to use. This stuff is amazing by Ethos. All you do is just spray it on there. You don't even have to touch the wheels. But a good tip when it's super cold outside is get you a warm bucket of water, and it's not even going to affect you. The weather is not even going to stop you or slow you down because this is the only water you're going to be touching. So let's go ahead, fire this pressure washer up, and get this thing looking clean. Number one rule, you want to start from the top and work your way down, right? Yes, Now, if there's any dirt, grime, or any kind of little any. small rocks, it all is going downwards. Yep, and uh, if you do start from the bottom, you can get a rock and bring and, it all the way it up. up. dude. And also, you try to go into straight lines. You see how he's going in straight motions. Just a few little tips and tricks to avoid as much uh, scratches as possible. Yeah, because you know I mean? it's better to have a straight line scratch than like swirls and stuff. Like if you're going in circles, and you got something in there that's gonna Dude. scratch it, it's gonna be real bad. We about started a detailing business back in the day. I ain't gonna lie, or we did start one for yep, a little bit. We did start one for a little bit. We ran it for about a couple months, but then uh, other things other, took its course. Other things happened. I think we started that, we built that Jeep, and then yep. uh, we started a YouTube full time and brought us this far. So we're just trying to share, share some knowledge with you guys. Hopefully it helps. Yep. And also dip your sponge as much as possible. Yeah, as well. I just went ahead and did the whole entire roof and a little bit of the sides and trunklet. Now I'm gonna dip it and move on to the hood. one here we got to do an oil change as well because the light has been on for quite a while we've just been driving around as well as a supercharger oil was supposed to get changed at 50 miles but we went a little bit over than that because we were having fun and we kind of forgot about all that all that boost man, man maybe forget that, that boost is fun especially with all-wheel drive this is the perfect conditions for it and you also may be wondering a lot of people have been asking why we took off the goon squad off the side of it we personally think it, think it does look a lot cleaner and also it is for legal matters as well, along with why we blacked out this light. Looks better as well too with it all blacked well, yeah, out. Yeah, it looks a lot better, but that's just what we you know, have to do right there. Yeah, we just want to be safe. We'd rather be safe than sorry, but let's go ahead and lift this sucker up, change both oils, and then this thing should be out of here in no time. Hey, she did take a licking, but she kept on ticking right there. Yeah, we did, we did some off-roading right here. I think this is when we like jumped a little hill, tried, yep. tried getting some air. That's exactly what that is, and you know what? It's, it's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it still works, man. No it problem. It still works. I was, I was thinking about, what if we lifted this entire thing up? Lifted it about like four inches. Four inches. Put and some like 32s, some boggers on here. Dude. That'd be legit. And this... Just full send it all the time because this thing is all wheel drive. It's fun off roading it. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? It's fun drifting it in the grass. That's what's real fun. Dude. That thing just whips around the corners. But... Oh, but what about that supercharger oil? 
Oh yeah, the supercharger oil, we actually uh, looked through the booklet and instead of 50 miles like we were thinking, it's actually 500 miles. So we're gonna actually hold off on the supercharger oil, which is still good, uh, which is a good thing because we don't gotta waste our supercharger oil because we only got like three bottles. That's enough for three oil changes. So we're just gonna keep it like that. I think the first time is 500 and the second time is what, 6,000 miles? 6,000, yep. And then you wanna change it every 6,000. But let's go ahead and add this oil and I think this thing will be out of here and, and good to go. She's all fixed up for whenever we need to go get some parts or just, you know, go to a store or something. She's ready to go, but, man. Uh, she could she could use a wash, but we'll do that some other year. You know what I mean? Some other year. She don't need no wash, man. This mm -mm. is just a parts getter right here. But yes, sir. She looks good, though. Like, just like that, man. She looks perfect. How it is, a little bit of mud on the wheels, a little bit of dirt. That's perfect. That's how we like it. But right now, what do we want to do? You want to do a Lamborghini oil change? Never did one in my life, dude, but I'm down to do it, dude, man. that's going to be tough, but it needs it probably more than any of these vehicles out here, Definitely. dude. Definitely, definitely. So I guess let's go ahead and drop these two Ferraris, take them out of the booth and pull the Lamborghini in. Don't do that ever again when Don't I'm back there. Don't do that ever again when you're back there, but it is loud, Dude, that man. thing almost rung my eardrums out. It dude. sounds so good. Did any fire come out? A little bit, but you can see it at night. You can't really see it in the daytime, but it, like, it, it's a flamethrower, literally, when you yeah, rev it. Just, it just it shoots, shoots right out. It don't pop, it just shoots out. But right now, uh, let's go ahead and warm up the Lambo. Now this thing here is gonna be a little bit of a challenge here. I've only seen one YouTube video and that was Royalty Exotics Cars. They rent out Lambos and all that good stuff all day. And I believe there's like 200 drain plugs or something like that. Something like that. Around hmm. there, there's probably like, I don't know. 30. Like, there's actually around like somewhere 30, but you do gotta drop this skid plate here. I think it's just eight or something. No, I, 30, is it eight? Yeah, I think 13. it's like 13. One of those numbers. <laughs> I don't know, 30, 200, I don't know. But yeah, let's go ahead and actually drop this skid plate. I do see some yet uh, pink markings on some of the drain plugs you see, you see that oh yeah there's a little pink right there and there actually is um One some right pink there. right here so i'm guessing that's all the drain plugs we will do a little bit of googling yeah we're just gonna have to uh, drop this down because i see a few all the way up there that we're gonna have to drain as well out of the actual oil sump itself so let's go ahead actually uh, take this little piece off and then we're gonna find all the drain plugs all right so before we start draining some of that oil for the lambo we are going ahead and shipping off all the hoodies that you guys ordered so uh gotta do this on the side yeah. most of you guys don't really see this part but we're we gotta we gotta build it into the, our schedule really you know yep. what i mean this is part of the schedule what? every day we load and unload packages so this is it right here that's right but we boxes. thank yeah we thank you guys for all the love and support though so it doesn't matter we will enjoy this right here and there's our merch lady yep. she's the one that does all the packaging all man. the packages so huge, she's hiding right now <laughs> hiding huge shout out to if she wants to put her name out there but just follow her on instagram actually thomas hellcat right oh yeah she runs that page she runs there. that page and she does all the packaging up and we just help load these big old boxes because you guys just absolutely kill it these sell out quick but go ahead load those suckers up be careful now those are our loyal fans right there and then we're just going to get right back to work on the lambo
eight drain plugs drain completely all the oil is out of this thing everything is already torqued back up and now we finally are going to go ahead and drop this sucker down and start pouring in our new oil and check this out this stuff was from germany i believe it was really hard to find i had to ebay this stuff and this is 5w30 uh, edge professional with the ll03 that's what lamborghini huracan calls for did a bunch of research and this is the perfect stuff for it and it takes, I believe, uh, nine quarts. We didn't measure the stuff that came out of it because that's what they recommend. And we also got our Lamborghini oil filter right here. This is pretty pretty easy to find, but now it's time to go ahead and drop this sucker down and start pouring in the oil, and then we're gonna crank it up, and hopefully we get the perfect amount in it. So that is nine quarts in. We're gonna go ahead and start this sucker up, get it up to operating temperatures. Then we're gonna check everything. Shoot, and then I think we should be good after that. And this thing should be done for its first maintenance by us, right? This is yeah, our dude. First I was time. actually honestly afraid to do this, but then after like getting at it, even at, even during watching videos, I was kind of afraid. Not a lot of people <laughs> really actually show you exactly how it's done. You know, you gotta learn as you go. We did a lot of research though, so. Should be pretty simple, but right now let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up and see if we got enough oil in it. All right, so the oil on the Lamborghini checked out perfectly, but it did get late on us, so we're gonna have to catch you guys tomorrow in the morning again. So it is the next day here and that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. One thing that we're not gonna film is actually cleaning up this Viper because we are actually gonna take it to storage to my brother's house. He's got an empty garage and we really don't wanna store it under our porch here how it's been for the past couple of uh, weeks probably. So yeah, we, and winter time is coming and we time, need that thing stored. I think it is winter time, but it's, it's about time we give it a nice clean and put it in a showcase pretty much. But that is gonna be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything because we got some more awesome things coming your way. Also guys, be sure to follow us on Instagram where you can get inside scoop there before YouTube. And if you want to help support your boys, be sure to visit goonsquad.com. So thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.